What is good everyone and welcome to a brand new video as you can see we've just been placed in master rank one We finally did it. We were in elite last season Well, I guess like the last couple days and now we're master it changes every like few days So you got to make sure you stay on top of the grind just one Well, actually you're about to watch a game. I don't want to spoil it, but we did win We did win I'm not gonna say how you know how close it was how many kills I got the best play all that good stuff But I actually have a question for you guys, what are you? Are you a uh, AK74U spent as compensator player or a muzzle break player? Personally, I don't know. I just think the spent as compensator would be hidden. You'd be beaming at medium and longer ranges. But let me know in the comments what you are. Muzzle break, spent as compensator, because it took me a while to decide. But I've been sticking with the spent as compensator and I've been really liking it. So uh, let me know what you guys like more. To make it easier to rank up in league play, you want to make sure you're using the best stuff. You have the best arsenal of weapons. So you gotta, you gotta always have the AK47 back pocket class just in case they pull it out that's when you pull the ak-47 now hey this gun kills it's like the strongest ar kills in four bullets that's why it was ga'd by the uh competitive call of duty community so make sure you have this class just in case they want to use it and if they use it pull it out destroy them or you can use a lawbreaker wild card and use the overkill uh because you can put two primaries on each of your classes so you have the ak-74u which is the best smg at the moment and then the xm4 which is the best ar that's allowed in competitive at the moment the fire rate is in Insane on this thing. If you have not been on the XM4 wave, which I'm sure you have, I highly recommend using the XM4. After you use it, you'll understand why I recommend this gun so highly. It's, it's just so good and I give it so much praise. But um, just being ready for anything. You can have an overkill sub sniper class. And then when it comes to game time, making sure you are using an AK or an SMG AK74U, uh, use under barrel, use Spetnaz speed grip for all your breakoffs in hardpoint control and then all everything around an snd you can run with this gun for 15 seconds well you have to stop you have to switch classes before 15 seconds then pull out your ar or whatever other class you want to pull out but make sure you're class switching in game to get places faster around the map and with score streaks you got to be really smart about this i honestly put the gunship on but a lot of the games don't last long enough to get the gunship score streaks they add up over time just depending on how many kills you get but you want to use ones that you're actually going to be able to get and use multiple times in a game so using an apom strike is really good you got to be careful and make sure you don't place it on yourself because it has it sends fire across the whole map and i mean across the whole map so you can very easily kill yourself i've done it i went on a 36 kill streak and then i napalmed myself it was great uh but yeah i use artillery and cruise missile those are the ones we're using competitive so i'm just kind of like getting practice in and uh, cruise missiles are great because they insta lock on to your enemy send missiles down while the main missile is coming down it's very good and then the uh, attack helicopter is great um you just call it it's pretty much a fifth man on the team and it just flies above you kills everything so and they're pretty uh well scored so 3k 3500 and 5k very easy to get when you start going to a little bit higher 7k 8k you can get those but the game is gonna have to last for a pretty long time and then the gunship you're gonna have to have like a 250 249 hard point and calling it at the very end to get that so you want to make sure you're using the score streaks that you can get pretty much every game and that uh just give you quick info like you get the pin from the artillery and then you get the actual explosives the bombs from the artillery so you can use it for multiple things and you don't have to use it just at once and now it is time for the gameplay another tip that is very helpful is to make sure you are going into league play with some of your friends or people that are just nasty at call of duty squad up party up and go into the games because you do not want to go into a game with solo queuing i do it all the time and one of your teammates leaves two of your teammates leaves like it just makes the game not fun at all you're losing elo for no reason and it just kind of sucks when people are leaving the game even when, if, when the other team leaves the game it just makes it not fun i don't even really want to play it anymore because it's not competitive uh so make sure you're going in with a good squad if you go in with a squad that you can rely on trust talk to while you're playing that is going to be a huge huge help of course if you don't have a squad it's kind of tough to find one but you could join my community to discord i'll put that in the uh description and you can check it out there i'm sure there's some people looking to for some friends to play league play with and just having someone reliable that you could play with and get some wins with very helpful so make sure you take advantage of that and uh, join the discord or go anywhere on twitter where you can find people to play with of course like i said earlier having communication is one of the most important and vital things in call of duty with good communication anything is possible and you it doesn't have to be people that you're partied up with it could be in-game chat even if you're solo queuing if you have teammates that are talking to you you guys can work together whether it's on search and destroy hardpoint or control you can make anything happen and you can make it a lot 
lot easier to get wins and not just uh, getting into random arguments when someone doesn't do something that you thought they should do. So making sure you're having the mic ready, you're having your squad ready, and uh, getting some wins will make league play a lot more enjoyable. You probably won't rage as hard and you'll probably be making a lot more people leave the lobby than teammates that leave when they're on your team okay and oh my gosh guys you don't understand i've been stressing out the past couple days my computer no joke exploded like i tried to turn it on one morning and the power supply just stopped working so it was been so stressful setting up pcs and getting the dual pc setup going or and working against so that's why there's been no streams took a couple of these off of videos but i got everything back working again thank the lord because i missed all you i missed all you a lot and uh if it just feels good to be back but back to uh the tips and tricks so i sorry i just had to get that off my chest that i missed all you and uh pc's problems were stressing me out and i've also been watching a lot of hunter x hunter the shows pretty lit but another important thing whether it's control or hardpoint is making sure you're learning the rotations that you need to do on the map of course in hardpoint learning where the five or four or five hardpoint spawns are and knowing how to manipulate the spawns around them holding the good side making sure the team is spawning far far away because you don't want teams to be getting split spawns split spawns are when they're spawning multiple places on the map because it makes it harder to cover and harder for you and your team to get hill time get kills and all that so i wish i could do it more in depth of video talking about split spawns and how to not cause them because it's different on each map there's certain areas you can't be pushed into and certain areas you need to be blocking uh to not make them spawn behind you and all that stuff so I, i'm trying to think of how i could do that but that would be a really cool video and definitely a more advanced video as well i feel like you guys would like that then when it comes to control control it's also kind of the same thing you kind of want to manipulate the spawns to have them spawning as far away from the point that you need to cap as possible. Uh, so pushing up into their spawn on one side, spawning them deep on the other side while you're capping one point, after you cap that point, go to the other side and make them spawn back out where the original point is where you already cap and then you're on the new one so make sure you're manipulating the spawns like that and also in control it's very good to stack the point i think if all four of you stack it it takes 15 seconds i think maybe if it's just three people it takes 15 seconds i don't know the exact timing but i know it's something along those lines so after you get a couple kills in their spawn you get like three down and you got all four near the point you might as well just stack it because that's going to force the other team to come sprinting at you trying to save the point and odds are they're going to be sprinting guns down if you have a trophy system they can't throw anything and then you just get the point or you just kill them all again they spawn out and then you get the point so those are some of the most important things in league play because the gameplay is slightly more advanced more competitive you'll probably see a lot more slide cancels drop shutting who am i kidding skill based matchmaking has been in pubs this whole time so i'm sure you guys have came across a lot of snakers slide cancelers uh jump shotters all that kind of stuff it, that, that's just how it has been with the skill based matchmaking in call of duty but hopefully you guys have been enjoying league play i've never had a pretty good time with it and uh, getting a couple wins it's just fun to play every now and again and i'm excited to be back uploading videos streaming now that my pc is well another pc that i just got is up and working so i'm really happy about that but uh, hopefully these tips help you improve your gameplay and make you become a better player and make league play and call of duty more fun and enjoyable thank you guys all for watching i will see you in the next one and as always my name's attached and i'm out peace